Renouncing all, all works of evil, all works of darkness. Oh, I condemn in this place. This place is filthy as fuck. Uh, every single last one of these nations have polluted themselves worse than ever. We are actually living in a, in a worst case scenario in history. That's what, that's part of the main, okay, part of the main reason why the Lord must come. The Hawa Shah must return and to restore all things. Okay? Because it's LGBT, Q, T, P, whatever. That is too much. This is what happens when we have to, uh, the, uh, the wicked when they bear view. Okay? He says, he says, he says, the LGBT friend the Berlin Mosque. Ibn Ishma, okay, the so-called Muslim, okay, the same guy who's going to claim the Quran supersedes the Holy Bible. Now they're into this fucking homosexuality bullshit. Now they're promoting this nonsense they themselves. They got a, an, an LGBT friendly mosque. Ishma has lost it. Elam has fucking lost it. All these nations are, they're all lost. All the nations have lost it. Elam, the East Indian man, has lost it. Ishmael has lost it. The so-called Christianity, okay, the modern day Christianity, okay, Esau's uh, white supremacy doctrine, they have lost it. The only ones who actually think still keeping intact to the best of the utmost ability, okay, the last touching commandments which are written in this book in the Holy Bible are the Hebrew Israelites. Only the rest are fucking sold out. Beginning with, with the elders apostles and the elders from down, these are the only men who are still keeping the law of statue commandment of Yahya Pashim Yashai to the best of the utmost ability the whole food elect everybody's promoting this nonsense they're not speaking against this, this nonsense of LGBT, Q, T, P, whatever the Bible says you should it says thou shall never suffer a wish to live this is witchcraft this is witchcraft the Hamites have lost it also promoting the exact same nonsense, following after Esau's customs and laws. So from what happened in Genesis 11 chapter, I believe, when, when it speaks about what, uh, <coughs> the, world became one, the world became one, they were all in one speech and one language. You see this nonsense happening in the, in the LGBT community. What does the scripture say in Leviticus 18, 22, Leviticus 20 and 23? In 13, uh, it says, If the man lies with the mankind, is allowed with the womankind, he sh they, shall sh they shall both of them be put to death, and the blush of post will be upon themselves. Even when a woman lies with the womankind, okay, if any lie with the beast, it says, A bit of matter, beast. 2 and 6. The Maccabees 2, or verse uh, 7 Maccabees, Maccabees chapter 6, verse 2 says, And to pollute also the temple in Jerusalem, and to call it the temple of Jupiter Olympus, and that in Darizim, and, in, and that in Darizim of Jupiter, the defender of strangers, as they did devour uh, that dwell in, 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 uh, in the place. Uh, and this place we have now seen people are, a lot. They have all desired to have one king and one lord over them. And that's Esau, the so-called white man. And he, he is the one, he is the defender of strangers, of these heathens, of these strange ways of living, which leads unto nothing but death. They all have communed themselves 
in, in, into doing an evil matter. They are all gathering themselves against the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahya Pashmi Aushas. And all of you, you are going to be judged in the single last one in the day of the Lord. At the appearing of the Messiah, the Habashah HaMashiach, because he's on his way. And he's going to destroy all LGBTQT, etc. Those who are following that nonsense, those who are part of that madness, you are all going to be put out of your misery. The lights are going to be are going to be out for you. What a shame. But it's still fine. Galatians 6 and 9, 6 and 7 says, well, Be not deceived. See, be not deceived. Anything, any single corner, every single angle, the Most High has it covered. A sinner will not be left unpunished. Never. It never happened in history. And it won't happen in our lifetime. It won't happen. All you pastors who are promoting this nonsense, you know, speaking against it because because of political correctness, because you sold out, okay, okay, the fucking deal you have of being tax exempt. Guess what? The Lord is not dealing with you, neither is he dealing with any of, of, of your followers. You're nothing but blind leaders of the blind. And all of you are going to fall into a ditch of judgment, gruesome judgment at the day of the Lord. World War Three, okay, famine, pestilences, and you're going to right, you're going to be right uh, in between. And you're not going to escape. You're not going to escape. You're not going to escape the day of judgment. All LGBTQT, etc. You are nothing but an abomination. Okay. That's what the Bible says, and we stand by the word that comes from the Bible. That's the word of the Heavenly Father. If you don't believe in this book, stop claiming that you believe in the God of the Bible, because He condemns you. He's against all of you. This place is filthy. This place is filthy. 